First Love's Recollections First love will with the heart remain when all its hopes are by, as frail rose blossoms still retain their fragrance till they die, and joy's first dreams will haunt the mind with shades from whence they sprung, as summer leaves the stems behind on which spring's blossoms hung. Mary, I dare not call thee dear, I've lost that right so long, yet once again I vex thine ear with memory's idle song. Had time and change not blotted out the love of former days, thou wert the last that I should doubt of pleasing with my praise. When honeyed tokens from each tongue told with what truth we loved, how rapturous to thy lips I clung, while naught but smiles reproved. But now, methinks if one kind word were whispered in thine ear, thou'd startle like an untamed bird, and blush with wilder fear. How loath to part, how fond to meet had we two used to be, at sunset, with what eager feet I hastened on to thee. Scarce nine days passed ere we met, in spring, nay, wintry weather. Now nine years' suns have risen and set, nor found us once together. Thy face was so familiar grown, thyself so often by, a moment's memory when alone would bring thee to mine eye. But now my very dreams forget that witching look to trace, though there thy beauty lingers yet, it wears a stranger face. I felt a pride to name thy name, but now that pride hath flown. My words in seem to blush for shame, that own I love thee on. I felt I then thy heart did share, nor urged a binding vow, but much I doubt if thou could spare one word of kindness now. And what is now my name to thee, though once naught seemed so dear, perhaps a jest in hours of glee to please some idle ear, and yet like counterfeits with me, impressions linger on, though all the gilded finery that passed for truth is gone. Ere the world smiled upon my lays, a sweeter mead was mine. Thy blushing look of ready praise was raised at every line, but now methinks thy fervent love is changed to scorn severe, and songs that other hearts approve seem discord to thine ear. When last thy gentle cheek I pressed, and heard thee feign adieu, I little thought that seeming jest would prove a word so true. A fate like this hath oft befell e'en loftier hopes than ours. Spring bids full many buds to swell that ne'er can grow to flowers.